Glorious, isn't it? Is anybody there? It's a real voice you heard. You're not dreaming. Oh, no. Just now, I... I heard... sounds. What sounds did you hear? Horses' hooves. Voices. And a lute. Or an instrument like a lute. Did you hear anything? Those sounds come from inside, not outside. They're only when you're concentrating, when you believe strongly in something. Just now, I was concentrating on who was coming up the hill to disturb me. Disturb you at what? Breathing the air, smelling the earth, watching the clouds. Why don't you sit down? You know, I was very mistaken about you. I'm sorry. I was mistaken about you, too. We have to dig to find out about people as well as roads. Do you know why I wanted to stay so much? I wanted to be here again. You've been here before? Do you see that clump of trees? I spent 13 perfect days there in a caravan. Your caravan? Belongs to me now. And the owner? such a thing as a soul. He must be here somewhere. He loved this hill so much. I love it too. May I ask, were you engaged? Three years. A long time. His father was the trouble. Did you ever meet each other? Oh, yes. We didn't dislike each other. They were a very good family. He thought his son should marry someone better than a shop girl. Good family. Shocker. Rather dilapidated phrases for water. Not for Jeffrey's father. It would have taken an earthquake. We're having one. Too late for me. There are a lot of funny things in the world. What, for instance? For instance, why should people who love the country have to live in big cities? Something's wrong. Miracles still happen, you know. Do you believe in miracles? When I was your age, I didn't believe in anything. Now I believe in miracles. For shop girls? For everybody. You know, I think a shop girl has a bigger chance of a miracle than a millionaire. I can see you've never been a shop girl. Nor a millionaire. <laughs> see those clouds for me. Be a warm day tomorrow. Tomorrow, I've got to go into Canterbury, to the Agricultural Committee. I shall visit my property. Your property in Canterbury? My caravan. It's jacked up there in a garage. I pay half a crown a week for it. Quite a lot for a jacked up caravan. Not for my caravan. Shall you bring it here? I hope so. Pilgrims to Canterbury often receive blessings. Do you think even a visit to the Agricultural Committee could be the instrument of a blessing? Who knows? If not, I might have a word with you. 